Hello everyone, it's Melissa. Welcome back. Uh, today I am sharing another project and this is a 12 by 12 layout documenting New Year's Eve. I'll ring it in 2019 with some friends and neighbors. And so I'm going to start by pulling from my product jar. You see I have flare pulled, ribbon pulled, a six by six pads. I also have a collection pack from Close to My Heart pulled out that I will use. Um, I also pulled frames, I pulled brads, buttons, enamel dots, and so I am going to hopefully, I've used this U Rock paper packet collection from Close to My Heart for the last six years on New Year's Eve pages, and if you've been following me for a while, you have seen me make some really great layouts with it, and this is all I have left. So it's going to come down to me paper piecing some of the pattern paper together. And so I kind of have my layout kind of the way I want it. It will change, but not too drastically as I go along here. I am going to have to use a piece of 12 by 12 white cardstock as my base because, like I mentioned, I need to piece together this polka dot paper. I don't have a full sheet, so that's in fact what I'm going to do here. And you see there also I have a Hello Speech Bubble that's actually a black foam thicker and it's from American Crafts and it's from You and Me. And so going back to my product jar, the only thing that technically doesn't get used on this page is ribbon, but if I'm being honest, I count thread as an element. And so, oh look, there's little Candace. That's my new puppy, you guys. I. We haven't had her quite two weeks yet, but she's a Havanese and we just love her. So here I'm going to add the blue tone on tone pattern paper and I'm going to cut away the excess because I don't want to waste it. Like I mentioned, I've used this pattern paper in this pack uh, for the last six, maybe seven years. I would have to go back and look, but every New Year's Eve, this is the paper I pull. And so, sorry, I had to clear my throat and take a drink. So I'm actually just going to cut away the excess, and it's just going to take me a minute. And yeah, so these pa these pictures, one of the one of the pictures is four by six with um, it's a picture of us cheers doing cheers and toasting into the new year, and the other one is just a three by four picture of um, my husband and I, and. I have more pictures, but these are the two I chose. And, I, you know, if you guys know that I don't scrap every picture I take, and nor do I feel the need to. Um, a lot of times, I the picture of us toasting was a, a great representation of who all was there and the kind of fun we were having. So um, that's, that's what I chose. So, yeah, there you see my base. And... I'm going to start, this paper is, this um, layout is actually going to kind of feed off a white layout, but I'm going to put it on an angle, and I'm going to have, sorry, I have a cough and a tickle, and I'm going to have it um, on an angle just to give it some movement as like a celebratory um, you know, anytime I do a page that I'm really trying to, you know, I want to speak to me as far as parties and celebration and those types of things, I always do stuff a little wonky. I don't know. It's just the way my brain works. It's crazy, I know. And, yeah, so that Hello Speech Bubble is just on wax paper so I can move it around easier. I will eventually put it on vellum. And the reason for that is because there is a bunch of stuff on my countertop there. And it's not pleasing to my eye, and I want to cover it up. So uh, ultimately, what else is bothering me is the top of the three by or four by six photograph where the lights are. I don't know for some reason that space is bothering me. I want so badly to cover it up, but in the end, I don't. I just kind of make it work. And yeah, so I'm gluing down the white, going to cut away the excess, and. Yeah, I'm just kind of making it all 
um, you know, um, okay, sorry about that. My kids needed to ask me a question. You know, it's always, no one ever needs me until I start the video. And so that's that. Okay, so uh, you can see here, I'm still trying to work in those frames. I'd really hope to use more than I did. I really only got one and a half kind of used on this page, but that's okay. I uh, wasn't feeling the diagonal stripe and, you know, the orange. I do bring in orange on this layout because everything, all the colors that are in this piece of pattern paper that I'm cutting down at the moment do make an appearance on the layout. I like how it's kind of reading like a rainbow, but it's not because you'll see here, you can see here, there's no red really. It's one of the colors that skips. So I'm roughing up the edges and here in a minute you're going to see me get the biggest monster paper cut ever. And it's because I'm going to rough up the edges of that white cardstock. And yeah, I eventually have to stop the video and go get a band-aid or come back. I can't remember what, but oh man, that hurt. There you go. And um, so yeah, I'm just going to rough up the edges here because, you know, that's how I like to do things. And uh, I'm not going to show you on camera, but that white background paper is actually going to get some splatters with some Heidi Swap color shine. And I'm just going to miss that on the background. Again, just really, really just to be festive. When you see the final layout, you'll see that I disperse buttons and pieces of vellum just to be like a burst of confetti, like I said, um, all conducive to a celebration for me. And so the 4x6 fixture there, just going to find some colors that I like from that pack to back up my photo. And I am also trimming it down just a little bit on both photos. And yeah, here you can see I am, I'm showing you a, a close-up and I am putting this on vellum and I am actually going to double back it up on vellum because it's still very transparent when it only has one layer of vellum. So I do end up doubling it up because I really don't like anything that's in the picture on, uh, in the photograph. So I want to cover that up and yeah, just cutting away with my scissors around the edge. And yeah, I'm definitely going to use that placement there. But as you can see, you can still see everything. I'm still bothered by the top half of the photograph. Uh, but you'll see what I do in the end. So here's me doubling it up again. And this reads much better for me as far as covering it up. And that's just two layers of vellum. So I'm liking that quite a bit. I found a purple in the collection that I wanted to back up this 3x4 photo. And I will ultimately add a chipboard piece from one of my Allie Edwards kits from the January kit that just says Happy New Year. I'm pulling some numbers from my stash at the moment. These ones don't make it on the page, but um, I do like them. They are from Neat and Tangled, and it's one of their alphas. It's like a skinny alpha. And I'm still trying to work my way through those frames, see what's what. I do end up getting that one on there. And on the side of the frame, you can't see it probably from here, but it's a selfie. So, I mean, totally, inappropriate, totally appropriate because that's exactly what we were doing. So I chose a navy piece of pattern paper from the collection to back up this 4x6 photo. And I will eventually kind of double back it just doing layers and whatnot with different colors. I did mention that I do make sure that all the colors that are present in that pattern paper from the collection are somewhere else on this layout. Now, I'm not using rules of three so much per se, but I am being very aware that I want those colors to appear more than just that pattern paper. And so here I'm adding some of the gold yellow from the collection. It's already been used, but there was an edge there, so I could make it work. And then I'm going to also add that sage piece and 
put that there. Eventually I will have that photo coming off the edge of the paper, so I will cut some of it off. Alter read movement. That is a chipboard frame. It's just white, and I must have used the other piece at some point somewhere else because that's all I have left. And right now here I'm going to start by gluing this chipboard frame behind my photo. And to make it go on both sides, I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to use some glue and adhere it with washi tape as well, just to keep it in place while the glue dries. You can see there in the top right corner, I have a Kelly Perky stamp set. It's like a label and it's called We Are Blessed. And it's from last year at some point. I don't remember when, but so, you know, it's, I haven't purchased anything yet for 2019, which because I'm on a freeze, so I'm doing well, but um, here it's almost the end of January and it's still been so strong. So, so yeah, I do end up stamping a handful of those uh, Kelly Perky stamps. And there you just saw me add the Happy New Year from Allie Edwards, the piece of chipboard. It's an oval. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you have a hard time using ovals? I don't know. For some reason, they intimidate the heck out of me. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Even that speech bubble is just like, ah, I want it to be square or a circle. I'm not sure. Anyway, so ovals, even when I do, because I do do cards, they intimidate me. So it's kind of crazy, but it's a fun fact. So uh, here I am using my foam alphabet that I'm trying to make my way through just to add dimension because I have chipboard on the back of that photo, so now I need to pop it up a little. And I'll just place these and glue it down with the Tombow liquid glue. So here you can see I went ahead and changed out the numbers. The 2019 is now cut with Mary Jane. So the Mary Jane 2019, that was cut from black cardstock, and that's actually a font from Quick Cuts, which uh, is really old, but I still have it because it's huge. It's about two inches tall. And you can see I'm using some black, a black. I only get one brad on the page. I've got some gold thread pulled out. And uh, so the chipboard, Happy New Year, was from my January stamp kit from Allie Edwards, Stamp of the Month. The Amy Tangerine, those are museum pins, and it's actually the heart. So when I pulled flare from my product jar, that's what I'm using. It's a metal pin and I just cut the pin part off. Um, it's, yeah, that's, in my mind, that's going to be my flare for me. I also have pulled the black bread and I will get some buttons on there. So here you see me just using a glue dot to wad up some gold twine and I'm just going to jam it behind the one photo there. And yeah, so that half piece of frame is actually going to stay on the layout. I like where it's at right there. Um, kind of giving you a close-up here. I've pulled some buttons from my stash, and you can see now I've stamped those elements, and they say party time, cheers, hashtag blessed, and together. And those are just stamped with a black VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And also on the bottom of 2019, there is a piece of chipboard that says let's celebrate, and that was actually from my January sorry, my December chipboard Allie Edwards stamp of the month kit. And I'm just going to glue down those labels. Like I mentioned, that's from Kelly Perky. And yeah, so moving right along here, you guys. Also, you know, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up. I will put the links to my social media in the description box. You can come over and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I would love that. And I will also insert another video for you to watch. I have a whole scrapbook process video playlist for my channel. And so that's fun. I would love for you to check that out. I am just fiddling with these buttons here. And I'm just going to use my pokey tool just to make it easier with my pin. And I just adhere those with crochet twine. You can see here I'm using some Stampin' Up! elements. They are just like metallic shapes so they're gold and they're hearts and just just my version of enamel dots which was a product pull. I'm also going to be showing here shortly a Allie Edwards stamp on the top there it says um what does it say 
remember this moment, cherish the story, celebrate this life. And that was stamped in Wisteria Wonder from Stampin' Up. It's right there. And I just did first, second, and third generation stamping. I'm showing you it's called Favorite Memories. And that's an oldie, you guys. That's huge. It's like 8.5 by 11. So that tells you how old and how long ago I bought that. Um, but I just love it. And you can also see here that I've used a Quick Cuts. It's a, it was a die made for Archivers, which is an old scrapbooking store. It's called Fireworks. And I just cut it, and I'll show you here in a minute. I colored vellum. You guys know I do that a lot. And I colored it with a gold or orange-ish um, alcohol marker from my stash. And I just cut it out and used the other elements for, like, uh, confetti. You know, because this is a celebration part page, I wanted there to be confetti-type elements on there. So I've got my journaling on the bottom there. I'm showing you the Mary Jane. This is like I mentioned, a big, a big font. And that's the lowercase. I have the uppercase. And yeah, I just love it. I'm super happy with how it turned out. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the description box. And uh, this is all stash stuff, so I will do my best if you have any questions to answer um, them as best as I can. Uh, yeah, but Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back soon. Have a great week.